Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. Where hold up. Where in today's episode we are going down back down into the mines because I really want to do some enchanting. But I cannot do that because I don't have any lapis lazuli. Now I have two objectives when we go down there. First is to find lapis lazuli. Second, if we do find lapis lazuli, I need a way to make a to make an enchanting table. And for that I need to make a diamond axe. So, with that said, I have 24 cooked pork chop, I have two bread. Um, let's just take a look at the farm real quick and see how that's coming along. Oh, it's night time. You know what, let's sleep first and then take a look at the farm. Um, yeah. Alright, just slept. Let us now take a look at the farm. Sorts out in case of spiders, creepers, you name it. Um, I think, oh man, just a few plants missing. The only, th the only reason why I'm not um, harvesting it now is because I really want to see how much I can actually get out of this farm um, without yeah, when it's fully grown. So I'm just looking for bones. Do I have bones like anywhere? There's a bat. He won't give me bones. I don't think there are any skeletons nearby. Hmm. Sadly. Um, let me just check my big chest and see if, if there are any down there. If there is, I'll just quickly grab them. If not, I think we'll just have to... I think I have enough food anyways. Um, oh, we do have bones. Perfect. I'll, turn, I'll then just make some bone meal. And we can see how much our farm gives us when it's fully grown. So let's go right up here. And do that. And grow these last um, wheat plants. There we go. I'll just eat some bread before harvesting. Mind your ears, because this is probably going to be loud. Yep, pretty loud. There we go. But over quickly. Let's then see how much wheat we got. We got one stack and 16. Now for the boring part. Reseeding. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Mm -hmm. I should probably cut through it. <laughs> all right, all done. 60 seeds remaining. Not bad. Let's put that in here. And we'll leave that there. And I will then be making a bunch of bread. There we go. And then I'll take this last one here and make one more bread. Okay. I am going to leave the pork chops here at my house just so I have some food in case I die or something. It's always good to have some backup resources so um, speaking of backup resources I should mm, should I yeah I definitely are going to need um, at least I think three more pickaxes for what I'm going to be doing I'm not going to be doing some normal mining I'm going going to be doing what's called branch mining and you'll see what that is but basically you mine in branches but I'll show you if you don't know what it is um, yeah we almost we are so close to 26 experience levels down there and I would really love to do some enchanting because then after that I would really love to do go do some exploring but let's just see if I remember the way to the ravine as it is what's closest to um, to bedrock so that is where you will find most stuff. I think I just heard an enderman. But it's up here, right? I'm pretty sure it's up here. Yes, it's down here. And then you have to go up here at the gravel. Ah, uh, see? I'm learning. And then it's right over here. Okay. Time to get started. So, I'm just going to... Um, basically jump down and I'm going to place a torch here and then I'm going to what Y level are we at 
we are at 11. Okay, not bad. Um, so I think we'll start like... Yeah, over here I think is a good place. Um, okay, so I'll just mine this out a little bit. Like so. And make a forward operating um, place. Just mine this out and then I'll make a crafting table and a double chest to store some stuff in because it is risky doing this. I might die. So I don't want to lose my diamond pickaxe, so I'll put that down here. But everything else I think I will keep. Um, I should probably block this up so I couldn't so I can't get um, sneak attacked, but I'll just make a door and then seal off the main um, the main entrance, which is going to be right here. So, we're at wild level 11. So I'm going to place this right here, put a torch. So what I want to do is to go all the way down to the bedrock level, which is going to show up any moment now. Wild level seven or six or something like that. Should be pretty close. Yep, right here. Good. And then I'll just continue this um, tunnel about 10 blocks or so. I don't know. Yeah, that should do. And then I'm going to place a torch here. Now, what branch mining does is if I start a tunnel here and go in this direction, then I'll get all the ores that are in this area. I can see the walls, the floor, and the ceiling. And what's in front of me, of course, then I can go, um, actually, this, it's a little bit narrow. <laughs> um, if I then go two blocks adjacent to it, like over here, and then start another tunnel, then I will again get what's in the ceiling to the left of me and to the right that I might not be able to see on this first tunnel here and at the bottom. I find it, an, I find it to be an efficient way of mining if you don't really want to um, use time at exploring caves and stuff like that. So then I use this method. Um, you could find all sorts of stuff, but guaranteed you will get a lot of stone. Um, so I think what I'm going to be doing is now I'll reset my controls again. Um, it's because I'm switching between different um, different Minecraft versions with the same Minecraft directory. Um, I should probably stop that, but anyways. I will then just equip the torches here and oh, what do we have here? Redstone. Not exactly what I wanted, but I don't mind having some extra. Um, yes, but I'll just do this, I think, in a time lapse. And then I'm not going to go in specific like blocks count how many blocks I'm going in. I'm just going to go in. Um, so yeah, I'll start a time lapse. I'm going to mine through all these different tunnels here. Um, let's just extend this here. I'm going to mine through at least these, I think, and we'll see what we get. And I'll stop the time lapse if I find something that is very interesting. So, starting time lapse in three, two, one. And Lapis Lazuli has been found. Yay! 
I was just thinking, starting to think that I might not find some, but here we go. Three orbs of Lapis Lazuli gave us 18, 18 Lapis Lazuli. Exactly what I wanted. Let's just continue a bit here. Um, get some more redstone, why not? So yeah, there we go. We found Lapis Lazuli and now we can finally do some enchanting. Enchanting. I think it's said. <laughs> it I think it's pronounced like that. Um, oh, well, looky here. Diamonds. What do you know? <laughs> you know what? I will not say no to a couple of extra diamonds. Diamonds. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's big vein. Five and six. Six extra diamonds. Wow, that's what you get from branch mining because you um, get stuff that you normally wouldn't be able to find or see in caves. I mean, this is in the middle of like the ground, so it's um, it's basically impossible for you to find unless you mine like this. Um, let me just take a look. How far away down did I go? Yeah, a couple of torches more. Um, so yeah. This is a pretty cool find. Six diamonds, 18 lapis lazuli, um, almost two stacks of redstone. We got a bunch of iron as well, and more lapis lazuli. I spoke too soon. More lapis lazuli and also a bunch of coal. Very, very cool. There we go. And a bunch of experience as well from mining the redstone and the coal and the lapis lazuli, of course. There we go. And more lapis lazuli. Looks like it might be three, three or small. Oh, four. Yes, four. Fourteen lapis lazuli. You know what? Not too bad. We'll continue and place one more torch, and then I think I'm done. Ready to head up back to the surface. Almost there. Yeah, let's call it here. There we go. All right, let me get back to my outpost and collect my diamond pickaxe and get some obsidian. Let's go. I think that was from mining in about five or seven minutes. Not too bad. Okay, so now here comes the dangerous part. For this, I will actually just quickly store that in there um, because it's dangerous down here and, well, lava. Eh, you know, dangerous. So only a diamond pickaxe can mine obsidian. So this is going to take a while because we don't have any enchantments on this. And that's exactly what I was talking about, dangerous. That's why I usually hold down shift when I'm mining and stuff like that. Um, do that. So what I did there, I blocked up some of the lava below these um, obsidian. But I'm right now holding down shift, because if there were lava here, then that would make this block. Um, do this. Holding down shift would then prevent me from going over it and fall into the lava. So that's why I'm holding down shift. For an enchanting table, I believe I need four obsidian. And I can get that easily here. Um, I'm pretty sure there will be lava under this one. So here you will most likely see the effect of holding down shift while doing this. Yeah, see, I can't fall. I cannot fall through. So block that up. Block it up. There we go. Like so. And you know what? I might as well take to fourteen because I want to go to the Nether soon as well. And for that, I'm going to need um, ten obsidian minimum. I could get fourteen, but. 10 is the minimum and that is what I will be getting. So, when I have 14 obsidian, I will be right back. Another time lapse, I suppose, starting right after I've broken this. There we go. Starting at 3, 2, 1.
Okay, 14 obsidian achieved. Now I just have to be careful about the lava. Uh, okay, so let us get all this stuff back in safety. Um, or safe and sound. Um, yes, I'll. Do you know what? I'll take. Eh, I'll leave some of the stone here. The door. I might do some more stuff down here. Okay, that's it. Let's head back. Quick bite. And let's get out of here. 14 obsidian. We're doing pretty good for this episode. Um, now, just one problem I thought of. To make the enchanting table, I need 4 obsidian. Yes. Then, I need. Um, two diamonds, no problem either. Just found six more. Um, and then I need a book. And the book requires three paper, no problem. And one leather. I do not have any leather at all. And that might be an issue. As I haven't found any cows nearby. Um, so I don't know how's, how that's going to work out. I know there's a roofed forest close by and animals usually live live there. So we might just before this episode ends take a quick look um at that place and see if we can find a cow too. And hopefully they will drop us some leather. Um yes. But let us first get this stuff um secured. So six diamonds, we now have nine diamonds in total. And we have, well, three stacks and 12 redstone available um, in our chest. That's cool. And 40 lapis lazuli and 14 obsidian. Not bad. And also we got 20 iron ore, which will go in there. Um, you know what? Well, I'm just waiting for the sun to set completely. Um, yeah, no leather in here at all. I will start transferring some stuff to my new chest room. So... This right here, I believe, will be my um, stone collection uh, or stone chest, including terracotta. Um, these stone, the stone type blocks. So let's do that. Again, I will most likely make um, more chests above these, but I will fill them up from the bottom and go up. Um, you know what? Let's make the wood chest right next to it. I will. I don't know if I should organize it in a better way, but for now I'll just put every single wood type into the chest and then I'll organize it. Maybe the one, this lower one will have logs and the other one above it will have planks and stuff like that. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but for now that will do. Eat a piece of bread. Sleep. Oh. Can we transfer anything else? Well, we can repair my iron sword here. Put those two together and get that. And I had eight, eight iron ingots. Put this down here as well. We have a spare iron pickaxe. Put that there. I know I just took everything in here, but I might reorganize everything um, off camera or something. Hello, spider. Um, Again, I will most likely put chests up here and then I might reorganize some stuff. If you have any organization suggestions, please be sure to let me know. But um, I'll think about it maybe till the next episode or the episode after that. I don't know. Um, I'll wait and wait till I have an idea of what I can do. Um, oh. Daytime. Okay, um, let's go. <laughs> I thought it was becoming nighttime, but apparently not. So let's go. Be sure no creepers are around. And there's the roof for the forest right at the horizon right there. Just to see if we can find a cow or something to make an enchant enchantment table. And then in the next episode, we will do some enchanting. Um, so let me just get over there. I'll be right back. Here we are roofed forest so let's see if we can just spot a few cows maybe just one um i just need some leather we haven't really explored much um as i said i want to get um enchanted stuff and then i want to go out and check out the surrounding area around our house our home um 
Yeah, that's lava. Stay away from that. Um, so I'm just going to walk through the forest here a bit. Oh, cow. Sorry, cow, but I need your liver. Okay. Don't see any other cows around. I got two leather. Two leather. That is perfect. Let me just... Okay, there's another cow over here. And then there most likely are another one close by yet, right down there. So I can breed them and get more. I was worried about that, but um, let me just get up here and get a closer look. If I go over to that one there, it seems to be the highest one. I hear a pig. Um, looks like the mesa biome goes all around. Yeah. Yeah, we will have to do some exploration here. Um, I think you can actually find, like, the desert temples, but in mesa biomes, so red sandstone. Um, I would love to find one of those. But we'll have to see once we go out exploring. Again, I want to get some enchanted stuff first, but we'll do that in the last, in, not in the last episode, that would be pretty long. In the next episode, um, I think I'm going to do that in the next episode together with making an enchantment room because um, an enchantment table in itself can enchant some basic stuff, but when we start and want to get higher level enchantments, um, we want to place bookshelves around the enchantment table. Now I do not have leather enough to do that because each bookshelf is three books equals three, le three leather, um, so I don't have close to enough of that to make that um but i want the room first anyways so yeah i have to think about where i want that anyways um but let me just get back to my house and i'll be right back again just look at how beautiful it looks from outside with that walkway we'll have to continue it around here make this area safe maybe cut down some trees maybe make some pathways up here do some um terrain do something with the terrain, make it a bit more even maybe, or we can maybe make some gardens up there, I don't know, plenty of ideas. So let's get inside and 99 nine ingots, perfect. We'll just put the raw food in here for now and let us make, um, yes I do have choking, perfect. So to make paper it's just uh, this and this. I will make the enchantment table now and then in the next episode we'll make the room for it maybe over here or here I don't know and then we will um and then we will place it down and do some enchanting I just can't wait making it so basically it's like this two diamonds to the side there and a book and we have our enchantment table and I was expecting an advancement or something. Um, but apparently not. Um, enchanting an item? Okay, whatever. Um, so yeah, we have our enchantment table right here. So, I think with all that done and said, eat some bread, and I'm going to call it an episode. So, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and share it with your friends, and if you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. We finally got it.